Alright, so I made a deck in Magic the Gathering Arena, and I worked really hard on it. I named it my Sticky Sap. It is a black-green deck, and I'll give you a quick overview of it. Um, this is a good way to view it. So, you basically win the game when you get to play this card, and this card survives a few turns. It just spawns so many tokens each upstep, each upkeep. You get a token, mine op opponents and mine as well. So this is the end goal here. Make a whole bunch of tokens. Now, how do we make tokens? We have sapling migration. We have fungal infection. We have the shepherd or sap herd. And when this guy dies, we also have him. He still keeps the token, but the tokens themselves aren't very powerful, which is okay. Uh, so this guy works twice, because when a token dies, I get a life, my opponent loses a life, plus he can make tokens. So there's a stowaway. I only have two in the deck because he's legendary. You don't really want both. Uh, oh, yeah, this guy also makes tokens. Now, to make the tokens beefy... I had to make sure I had the Ascend, because then all the tokens are 3-3s. Three and to make them even bigger, eh, we have this guy, the Spore Crown. He gives them all plus one, plus one. He also gives the Funguses plus one, and that includes the Death Bloom and the Shep uh, uh, the Sap Herd. For control we have a little bit we have duress i like drawing this right away in the game i'm not sure how i feel about it overall um we can give minus one minus ones to any mana dorks that come around we can also give some minus two minus twos and minus fives if we need to we have assassin's trophy of course have to have this in the deck because it destroys anything on the field gives my opponent a land but usually by the time they have something big it really doesn't matter. They have the mana they need. To deal with flying, I have Poison Tip Archer, who has Reach and Death Touch. Death Touch is really nice. It can easily lock down a, a big creature if my opponent's afraid of losing it. And if the creature dies, it loses the opponent loses a life. Which, of course, stacks with this guy. The opponent loses a life. Um, What else we got? For Titanic Growth, that's to keep something alive if I need to, giving it a plus four, plus four, and that's kind of the synergy we have. I'm mostly a green deck, so I put 11 forests and 9 swamp. I also have a couple of those forests that enter, or the dual lands that enter tapped. I like having four in the, uh, in the deck, so I can have a 40% chance of having one in my opening hand, and not much of my deck does very much in the opening hand. Mid-game, I like drawing Woodland Cemetery. Um, the weaknesses of the deck that I found are if, if this guy dies, and if my opponent plays cards. That, yeah, basically, if my opponent starts interacting with me, I can't pick up momentum. Board wipes are very hard to recover from. All these tokens don't have... Uh, mana cost and there's some board wipe cards that say stuff like destroy all creatures with a uh, mana cost of two or less or something so that's another weakness of the deck mm, i think that's everything i need to go through i'm not so sure about titanic growth um and i'm not sure if i should switch these up or not uh i'd like to have more assassin's trophies Oh, I forgot about this card. This card also gives something Death Touch, and it does... It's it's like a more expensive Assassin's Trophy. It destroys target artifacts, creatures, or enchantments, if I want as well. So, there we go. That's the deck. And I have 500 coins that I finally earned. Good practice. So now, I'm going to do the Constructed Event. So the way the Constructed Event goes is... You keep going until you max out at 7, or maybe there's more. It, I don't know, it fades over here. And you keep playing until you have 3 losses. 
So you break even at four wins. And you get cards as well. So here we go. Let's cut the video. And the next video will be round one. Very proud of this deck. And I hope I do well.